Hello everyone, welcome back. So recently I published a video where I explained how you can uh, run your SAP backend uh, freely, all right? free SAP backend system using a Docker. And uh, I just explained the installation process over there. But the thing is, uh, it comes with a valid license. All right, it around, I think, I think three months, uh, this license remains valid and then it will be expired. So that's the reason today when I just you know, started logging into my SAP, I received this kind of a message that it will be uh, it will be expert soon and kind of a date is like 19th October. So I just you know uh, tried to see the different documentation and which I also explain over here. So it talks about like if it's a new container because it's a container based solution, Docker container. So if it's a new container, how you can you know uh, attach the file, license file. Or maybe how you can you know if for the existing container how you can stop it and you can you can run it in an interactive fashion but i think this is little complicated uh, i don't need to do much this way so because uh, there is a uh, easy solution uh, rather so what i what you can do because if you are also running your sap uh, in the as a docker way or as a trial version definitely you need to extend your license key as well so you can go to this particular site right i'll also give in the description box and um, uh, it will give you certain options of the of your system and you need to select the a4h above for hana with the linux and sap hana uh, mo, uh, version so then what will happen uh, it will ask for certain details okay you will have to give your name uh, and the email address as well as the hardware key and once you uh, give this one then go to generate and you will see the uh, you know license uh, new updated license files will be saved in your local machine so obviously your question would be how to get this hardware key. Um, so I think it is very easy. Uh, you can go to this uh, transaction called S license. And uh, that it will talk about the hardware key that uh, you can get it from. Now, as you can see, this license uh, for me, it is now showing 24 because I have already updated it. But I'll also take you to like the process how I have done this. Same system, go to edit and install license. If we just go to install license, you'll see some sort of A4H multiple. So that file, you need to just select it. All right, let's do one more. What will happen if I just do this? Uh, uh, kind of a uh, licensing details it shows, right? To hardware keys related. And if I click on open, then it will see two SAP license key successfully installed. And now it will give you the corresponding valid two. It is now showing as 24. Because in earlier, um, as per the screenshot, it was like a 19th of 10, uh, 23. And it is showing like valid and expert soon. So of course, now my license is uh, valid till 24, 7th of Jan. And I think it is, uh, it is great, right? That how you can extend your license. It will remain valid for another three months. And then again, you have to follow along. So why not create a video and just share it across so that you can also get uh, benefited in case you are also looking for such information. Thanks for watching. Share and subscribe my channel to see this kind of more content in future. And take care. See you soon.